I it was a cutter operator for a long time. I reported the cutter was heating up, heating up. Nobody do anything. I was cutting my last basket when radiator blew up. I jumped. With the radiator, I was sitting right under my seat was the radiator, blew up, water just came up. Jumped on top of me, I jumped about, it was about what? 20 feet or something? Yeah, 25, 20, 20, 25 feet up in the air, ended up on the cane. And my swamper came out to me. When I never see myself how I looked, but he told me, stay there, stay there. So when I stand up and I saw the skin chest hang, I was burned from the hot water, it, the coolant in there. So when I saw that, then I figured, wow, I burned. I stopped and he brought the machine back under the shade, shade me, and he told me he's going to call the supervisor. He ran all the way down to the road, called help. This guy, Tony Tisher, came up. He was the mechanic, a supervisor then, field mechanic, picked me up, called in the hospital that he was bringing me in. I was all burned. I couldn't stay in the cab because I was all burned. So I told him, I got to go in the back. So he put me in the back, and as he go further, I kind of hit the truck again. He stopped. He told me, what? I got to cool off. Too burnt, I can't stand them. When you go, the wind hit me like needles going through my body. So he told me, I get the, my cooler, yeah, bring them. So I just dumped the cooler up with the ice and all, and he continued going until I reached the hospital. They cut me, my clothes right off. The doctor just emergency removed all my dead tissue off me and put me in the hospital that I was in a room that nobody could come in, not even my wife come and see me, because infection was the story. If you got infected, you can, something can happen to you. So that stands out the most important thing in my life. And he did a good job because I get a little bit scars, but not as much as you would think I would have. How long did it take you to recuperate? <laughs> About. A year, but it, the process in the hospital took me at least three to six months. How and old were you? I was, uh, I would say, just about 40s. What caused the radiator to blow up? You see, when you cut cane, the opala, opala is the rubbish of the leaves, the dirt, the, dirt, the hair, all pile up in front of the radiator. And they, once in a while, we blow it off, but the radiator after a while, even how much you blow, you can't keep it clean. So when you run them straight again, it kind of heat up again. Yeah, but you made a report, the thing was yeah, acting up, yeah, but they never yeah, did really come yeah, never do nothing. See, that machine is a high machine. You sit above the machine. Okay. Yeah. And underneath is uh, all the mechanical things. They grab the cane and, and cut the seat. So what happened, well, I drove that one time too when I was a utility, and I didn't know I was driving, and I felt hot. When I looked down, the thing was all in fire. So I never know, the, the swampa never tell me, you cut a couple of baskets, you stop and you clean. As was your father's tractor, the hydrostatic. The one, the one, so I've been cutting, cutting, the thing caught fire, and I never know. You had the old kind pump, you pump and, and shoot, that's how I was killing the fire, but... It's a, it's a machine he's talking about. He's up in there in a the radiator. The engine is underneath him. So when the cap blew, he's right above the seat. So that's where he got all the the, the blue, the, the, the water, yeah. burnt button. Oh. Yeah, it's a high so machine. So that, yeah, that stands out the most out of my 38 years working for Hamako Sugar, yeah. They're all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, get a lot of stupid stories, but yeah. yeah.